Good morning. So, this is day seven of my 30 day video challenge, and I decided that something I posted this morning on Google Plus would be great for me to talk about on video to you guys. So, bear with me. Still waking up. I talked about curating on my blog yesterday. In fact, I curated an entire section of my store. Now, the section only had about 11 items in it, and it's stuff that literally had gotten made the first month that my store was open. So you can imagine it's a little dated as far as, far as my style and as far as my offering. Now, just to catch you up to speed, it's my bath and beauty line, and it consisted of some iPods or dream pillows that I had made and some templates for people to make their own and fill them with whatever they wanted as well as some room mists. Basically, the room mists are like the deodorizing sprays or perfumes that you might put in a room. You could wear them on your body if you wanted, but some of them were just a little odd to have worn that way, like fresh linen, for example. And some others, like the passion fruit and guava, for somebody who likes fruity, spring, summery, sweet smells, would have been great. So, I... I've had these for a while, um, and they did all right when I first released them. And I think partially it's because of the price and the market I was reaching, but also for the fact that I didn't have anything else for people to buy. But in the last year, my business has grown a lot, and one of the things that I've learned and had to develop is my curating ability. And that's where those products came in yesterday. Basically, and I can thank Laura George for this and getting me into this, curating is when you go back through your work and you look at stuff that may not be up to par, that may not reflect your style, that needs more work, or just isn't where you need to be right now for how you've grown in your medium, and you remove it. Sometimes people trash it, some people will take it apart and retool it, and sometimes maybe it just is not something you need to work with right now and you can bring it back later. Well, curating, as I said, is very difficult for us artists because we are rather sensitive about our work and it can be a bit of a personal criticism and a little harsh to look at our work and hear that it's just not that good. But it's really not about that. It's about how you've grown and how you've moved from one place to another in your work and it's a good thing. If you're curating, that means that you're offering something newer, better, that you've developed and refined your skills, and you need to take it that way. And with your work, hey, guess what? You can redo it. You can do it again. You can take apart what you've done. Or you can do something even better and greater, and that's what you need to focus on. So this is my day seven, and I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Bye.